Hey everybody, happy Halloween. I just wanted to do a really quick video for you, my beautiful souls who follow me and who are registered on my courses, on my different webinars, in my group. And much love to you. So today is Day of the Dead where the veils are thinner and we can connect to our ancestors, our spiritual selves, our galactic family, our soul family, however you perceive this reality to be. Today, tonight, wherever you are in the world, Halloween, the 31st of October, is said to be uh, an energy where we can really tune in. We also have a big lunar eclipse happening as well. And right now the energies are in the sign of Scorpio and Taurus, so polarity energy. So we have some oppositions in the sky and Scorpio is the sign of the deep psychic mystic, the one that likes to go underground, who likes to unearth. It's ruled by Pluto and Mars and it really likes to go deep. So happy birthday to all the Scorpions out there. That will be my son um, next week. And they really go deep with their kind of spiritual mystic senses. So we all have Scorpio in our chart. So see where it is in your birth chart, because that's where you like to be intense. <laughs> so right now in Scorpio, in that really intense sign, we have the Sun, Mercury and Mars. Um, Mars is exalted in Scorpio. And um, it's opposing a Taurus where we have Jupiter and Uranus. So Taurus rules our body, our throat chakra, um, how we feel in our body, our senses. It rules uh, Venus, values, money, possessions. And what is this energy asking us to do? It's asking us to release something. Uranus in opposition to Scorpio which is um about kind of Scorpio likes to see the truth so Uranus will bring big awakenings into our life so maybe some of you have been experiencing the truth being revealed to them at this time uh, people things you have to let go of anger um communication just something that is a final release for you can be bringing up intense energies right now. But what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to use the tarot to see how we can tie that in to see what we are kind of karmically releasing in our tra with trauma. So a lot of my work now helps people move forward after their childhood trauma. And it helps them to uh, really gain a sense of their authenticity and to make them feel that they can live the life that their soul wanted them to experience here. And yes, trauma can be part of our soul experience, but because we can be so fragmented through an experience of trauma, this lifetime can be around re rebuilding that, repiecing that, bringing back parts of, parts of your soul that have been fragmented through trauma so you can live a full life in this reality and also change timelines, change your generations so, so you're not passing down the same trauma. So if you're interested in trauma and healing it, it can be that you step forward from your family line to be the one that changes things going forward for the next generation. So I have the tarot here. So I'm just going to tune into my cards. So as I do that, I'm connecting with my guides, opening up my uh, crown chakra for sure, and all the all my other chakras from root all the way up to the crown, so I can connect. Okay, so on a collective level, I'm asking the tarot to show us the trauma 
that we are all releasing at this time. So the first card is the Fool. The Fool card is the start of the Major Arcana. It's the Fool, the new beginning, the one that goes on the journey, the one who might not see the path ahead um, but wants to go on an adventure. This can be around uh, letting go of old beliefs. This can be around, um, oh sorry, sorry, the Hanged Man. That's it, letting go of old beliefs, seeing a new way. The hanged man really is about either pausing, waiting, just observing before you make a next move. But it can also be around beliefs as well. It can be around seeing things differently. So when you're hanging upside down, you see the world from a different perspective. So it could be that on a collective level, we start to see things um, from a completely new perspective. What we once viewed gets turned upside down so we see it differently we then have the knight of wands this is a fire energy so we've got this kind of action it's not the king but it's so it's a bit less mature energy but it's something about action it's about moving forward it could be around kind of that mars and energy in a way that mars um a mercury energy about kind of combat a little bit you know with that fire temperament that kind of um warrior like disposition as well so we could start to feel that within our system at the moment or it could be that we've just had enough of a certain situation and it's about time that things changed in our life this can give us the um energy the motivation to really change the things that we uh, no longer want to have in our life, that we've outdated, like we want to get rid of it. We, we want to see this in a new way. And when we see something in a new way, we have to have the passion and belief to carry that forward so it becomes our reality. And we also have this as well that we're releasing as well. So the swords are all about mental, it's air, it's um, our thoughts. So this is around somebody feeling quite trapped. So this can be a release of feeling that anxiety where we just feel tied in and consumed and constricted by a certain situation or a certain way of doing things or a certain belief. So this really is kind of saying we are... Um, going to take a different perspective on things we're going to see the world differently we're going to have the energy and enthusiasm even might feel like anger because anger can be quite a motivating force to move us forward in a certain goal or direction so we're going to feel that motivation and it's really to um, free us from the chains that we've potentially been feeling what we can't see what we feel trapped by you know, this is going to help us uh, break free from that. So let me just see if there's anything else that wants to be heard from here. I think I might use my chakra stones and astrology just to see. Okay, that's come out really clear. Okay, so the sun, um, you probably can't see it, but it's the sun on my astrology dice. And that is saying, okay, this is on an ego level. So this is on a personal identity level that this is going to affect us. It's going to be something brand new. It's going to be something that wakes us up, something that wakes you up. Uh, it could be individual, it could be collective. But it's really about our identity, our ego, our motivation, where we want to go, where we want to take this. So let's just see how this plays out because these energies can last for weeks and for months. But that was my message for you. Thank you for taking the time and I will speak to you soon.